in 2010 year. <laughs> The changes that we have implemented are firmly taking hold, and our key reforms appear to be successful by every measure that we have taken and that we have seen so far. Of USA Today uh, for inviting me to be here this afternoon, the National Press Club's officers. Today I'm pleased to report that our federal prosecutors are heeding that call, <clears throat> and they are being more selective in bringing certain drug prosecutions. Between 2013 and 2014, the number of defendants charged with drug trafficking offenses declined by nearly 1,400 individuals. And this is a reduction of more than 6%. Much uh, to our national discourse. We don't always agree, but we have. Uh... In 2013, before Smart on Crime was implemented, the average guideline minimum for federal drug, drug prosecutions, in other words, the average suggested minimum prison term for an individual being charged for a drug crime was 96 months. A year later, while the number of drug trafficking prosecutions has dropped, the average guideline minimum has actually risen to 98 months. Now, this demonstrates that the most serious drug crimes are now attracting the highest scrutiny. And I'm humbled to follow in the footsteps of the really remarkable men and women who have addressed this organization. We have gone from seeking a mandatory minimum penalty in two out of every three drug trafficking cases to doing so in one out of two. Now that's, that's a major reduction. In fact, it is historic. The Sentencing Commission confirms that these numbers show that federal prosecutors sought mandatory minimum penalties at a lower rate in 2014 than in any other year on record. And surf. Chief Internet Evangelist for Google will be here on May 4th. Now these are extremely encouraging results and they demonstrate that since we launched the Smart on Crime initiative, the federal criminal justice system has begun to operate more efficiently by reducing its involvement in low-level criminal activity, more effectively by targeting the most serious crimes, and more fairly by ensuring that those who are convicted of crimes receive sentences that are commensurate with their conduct. Thank you, Mr. Attorney General. We have some questions on the breaking news of the day. On I think that we have to look at this um, decision for what it is. It is the, um, a decision by one uh, federal district court judge. Um, I expect, have always expected, that this is a matter that will ultimately be decided by a higher court, if not the Supreme Court, um, than a, a federal court of appeals. And so I think it has to be seen um, in that context. Thank you, Mr. Attorney General, for, for coming here, particularly...